What does the Bible say about the Spirit? And in the last days it shall be, God declares, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we are, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Whereas the body apart from the spirit is dead, also faith apart from works is dead. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentarily, affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. 
For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. And we do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. I thank God whom I serve, as did my ancestors. Be clear conscience as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God, you are not your own? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit as your father did, so do you. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another help to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You will know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you.
The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has appointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the openings of the prisoners to those who are bound. 